the notion that I can just suspend deportations through executive order, uh, that's just not the case uh, because there are laws on the books that Congress has passed. There are enough laws on the books by Congress that are very clear in terms of how we have to enforce uh, our immigration system that for me to simply through executive order ignore those congressional mandates uh, would uh, not conform with my appropriate role as president. I can't solve this problem by myself. We're going to have to have bipartisan support in order to make it happen. We're also a nation of laws. That's part of our tradition. And so the easy way out is to try to yell and pretend like I can do something by violating our laws. I can't simply ignore laws that are out there. I've got to work to make sure that they are changed. I know some here wish that I could just bypass Congress and change the law myself. But that's not how democracy works. See, democracy is hard, but it's right. Changing our laws means doing the hard work of changing minds and changing votes one by one. Sometimes when I talk to immigration advocates, you know, they wish I could just bypass Congress and change the law myself. But that's not how democracy works. Now, I swore an oath to uphold the laws on the books. Now, I know some people want me to bypass Congress and change the laws on my own. Believe me, the idea of, of doing things on my own is very tempting. It, 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 I, I promise you, not, 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 just, not just on immigration reform. But that's not how, that's not how our system works. That's, that's, that's not how our democracy functions. That's not how our Constitution is written.